Hi, welcome to Bookshelf Ray's first screencast called How to Use Edelweiss 101. So first, you do want to go to the Edelweiss website, which is edelweiss.abovethetreeline.com, and this will bring you to this homepage. And the big question is around review copies, finding them, leaving feedback, and just basically navigating all of the books in Edelweiss that are up for review from different publishers and authors. So we're going to click on the Review Copies tab. And then this gives you every single book that's available for either review, or I'm sorry, either available for request or download. You can actually drill down further in the Titles tab by Download or Request, Download and Request. So for this example, I'm going to go to Download. And this shows me everything that I'm approved for here. And ignore this, it just pops up. You can further refine your results by publisher, publication date, age, subject, and imprint. So for this example, we're going to do publisher. And I'm auto-approved for HarperCollins. That makes it easy. I'm going to select them. When you make these selections, you do need to click Update because it lets you make multiple selections so that you're not having to go through to each publisher. And as you can see here, this is a list of all of the HarperCollins titles that are available to me for download and not having to request. You can rearrange them by date added, pub date, ascending, pub date, descending, and then title, ascending, and descending. We're just going to go for added, and then we're going to scroll down to Tiny Pretty Things, because that's the next book that I do want to read from Edelweiss. And if you want to look what the content is, or the synopsis, you click on content, and then it gives you all of the information here about the novel. Sometimes you'll find that there's nothing there because the book has just been added and they don't have a synopsis written yet. You can select comparable titles, and then related products, and then references, and generally nothing will come up for these. You can also find out who is reviewing and has said good things about it. And if you're just setting up your Edelweiss account, you do want to select that you're a blogger, if you are a blogger. Um, the reviewer category, I think, is for mostly for authors and not for bloggers. And then to send it to your Kindle, you download review copy and then I would just click continue. Now, I can change the format if I wanted to read it, say, in iBooks or Blue Fire Reader if I didn't have a Kindle. And you would click on standard and then continue and then it would let you select either the email address or a download version. But those do expire, so I select Kindle and they don't ever expire from my, from my Kindle and any of my iDevices. And you don't have to set this, it, it does remember it on its own. And then this gives you all of the information on how to manage your, your Edelweiss copies. So you do need to make sure that Kindle at AboveTheTreeLine.com is an approved sender in your Amazon profile. Otherwise, it won't go anywhere and you won't ever receive it. So we're going to click Continue. Don't worry about this warning, Amazon will not charge for books like this because they're very small. And then you can click Close. Now if I wanted to leave a review for Tiny Pretty Things with the publisher, I would go to Downloads, and then I would select Write a Review, and then I would fill out all of this information. And generally, I write my blog post first, and then I copy my review into this space here, click Submit to Publisher, and then hit Save. But I'm not going to do that now because I haven't read it yet. Now, you can also filter these by No Review, Saved Review, and Submitted Review to see how many books you have if you do request a lot from Edelweiss. And another fun thing that Edelweiss does is select Featured Reviews. So you can see down here in parallel, my review was selected as a featured review on Edelweiss. 
So it will show up to the publishers. It will show up to other people who click on that plus when they're looking to see what the feedback is. Now, downloads don't count as requests and they don't count, I think, towards a ratio. So you can click on request to see what you've requested that you're not auto approved for and find out what the status is. And they will email you too to let you know. Um, but if you miss the email, like I'm notorious for, you can just sign in and look here. So this is the request tab under review copies. And then you'll see everything that you've been approved and declined for. So as you can see, I did most of my requesting in 2012 and then I stopped requesting until today when I wanted to review the invisibles. And that is basically it. Make sure that you have your profile filled out in your admin panel. You can manage users. So if you have multiple people on your blog, you can add them into one account so that they get the same status that you do. And that is it. It's pretty easy once you get used to it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.